Welcome back everyone. Welcome to Cafecito. Cafecito. So today we're at a new spot. Uh, this spot is located somewhere in Decatur. It's it's Avondale Estates in Georgia. And it's called Banjo Coffee. Banjo Coffee, okay. We've never been here. What did you think of the experience? <laughs> well, you know, what what before we get into uh, everything, it, it kind of kind of sucks just because of the restrictions there is. So luckily we were able to find this table with chairs right yeah. outside the spot. The but, coffee shop is but the right coffee next shop, to us. Yeah, it's and We can't closed. sit in there and then there's uh, oh. chairs up <laughs> over here but it was taken. Yeah. And then we're just here like in the woods. <laughs> there's people here so we're not used to filming in front of so many people. When I went in to order, I obviously am vegan. He's not, so it doesn't matter for him. But I asked if the syrups are vegan, and they were like, yeah, we think so. <laughs> so hopefully they are. Uh, I got the bourbon vanilla latte with almond milk. I asked for oat milk, but they don't have that. Uh, I, they do, it's on their menu, but they only have almond milk right now, of course. <laughs> and then wh what did you get, the caramel latte? Yeah, you you picked for me. <laughs> caramel latte. Are you latte. joking? I, I just honestly, I don't know names. How did I pick for you? <laughs> just you kidding. You literally <laughs> told me what to get. Yes, yeah, like I got the caramel mocha. mocha? No. Sorry, it's car caramel. Ca 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 caramel <laughs> latte. Caramel latte with regular milk, so oh. I can't even drink it. They both look really delicious, honestly. Can you see so, it? As far as the sign, obviously, they were inside a little container. So it kind of ruined the design of it, but I'm sure it was pretty. Yeah, they made the little latte design. Um, I felt like it was just a little uncomfortable in there. Well, yeah, I don't know. Just I just felt like, uncomfortable. I, or I think it's just because they recently just opened too. It's no, like, they didn't. No. When I checked before, like over an hour ago, it was already open. Let's try it. How much was it? I don't know. You paid expensive, I'm sure. Like eleven. I didn't even maybe? hear him. Yeah, I don't know. They have like the. The Pe whole plexiglass, glass. Glass, they yes. have their mask on, our masks on. It's just, it makes the experience so much more difficult when you get coffee out, but you wanna try it? Sorry for the shadows, by the way, but. Yeah, it's a really, it's a nice day out, luckily, but the sun is right in front of us. Oh my God, sorry. Dude, dude, 12 out of 10, 20 out of 10. My God, I've been I've been craving this. This is it. This is the spot. I don't know about you, but mine is just a hit. I guess it's all that sugar, you know. Mm. You can try mine. I can't have yours. So that sucks. It's like a seven, eight. No, it's still good. It's good. Mine had definitely surpassed my expectations. It's very creamy. Love that. Yeah, mine's creamy sweet all you can really ask for for like a morning latte the thing about lattes is i'm literally almost a fourth of the way done with this and you are too and we barely took any sips lattes mm. i can finish in like 3.5 seconds because they're half milk you know but on the other hand if you have black coffee that takes us like i don't know 10 to 15 minutes to drink because it's just black and it's hot, so you you take more time to drink it, which I I think is sad. <laughs> <laughs> because you can't have this for as long. So the flavor by itself, it you know, it's right on right on the dot. You know, it's caramel. I can taste it immediately as soon as I, I try it. Foaminess is amazing. It's very comforting. You know, it, it's exactly what you want out of a latte. Yeah, and lattes are always comforting i don't really have many lattes like if anything it's just black coffee just like you know the reviews that we do so i think it's just having a difference on it really does like hit your taste buds this one it's the bourbon vanilla again with almond milk i really wish i had like something to accommodate this like a food mm -hmm. like the pastries i mean they also have pastries just like you can see here i mean they really they look pretty fresh too. Like I was looking through them, I really wanted to get one, but shouldn't. This already itself is probably like a couple hundred calories, so. Yeah, more than that. <laughs> That's why I said a couple hundred, in the hundreds, triple digits. But a couple is only one or two. Um, 
leave a comment and tell us what couple. couple what is a couple? Two. Couple hundreds. Couple hundred is two hundred. Mine tastes like I don't know. How would you describe this? I. I guess I should have asked almond milk so you could try mine. No, because they said caramel had milk in it. Yours, it's kind of like too subtle. Um, just too, not in the coffee. Like I don't really taste much of coffee. I taste more Does yours of like, taste like coffee? Yes, there's a coffee and the caramel. Like you can literally divide my flavors. With yours, I just taste some, what, what kind of milk did you get? Almond, I asked for oat, but they didn't have it. Okay, so I think that's what it is. It's like I'm picking up the almond milk. Almond milk, yeah. I guess it's more of a nutty flavor than like yeah. vanilla. Yeah. Which I don't taste Regardless bourbon. of that, I mean, there's many other options and flavors, but of no, course, there wasn't if that you're- many. Well, There wasn't that many. Well, well there's not mocha. that many. It's just that if you're obviously vegan, there's not many to yeah. choose from because of the flavors. Yeah, there was mocha, the vanilla bourbon, caramel, honey, lavender, and something else. Like syrup, it was just called syrup. Other than that, I highly recommend this place if you're around the area of Atlanta. Just come on by on a weekend early because I actually think that this place gets kind of kind of crowded. I mean, as soon as we started filming, a lot of people started pulling up. It's only 9, 9.30. On a Sunday. On a Sunday. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine that this place it's pretty busy. So inside of Banjo Coffee, it was really cute. It was very, like a lot of wood. Unfortunately, we can't get the full aspect of how it would look because all the chairs were folded up and you know, the shelves are put away, things like that. But it was very cute and I'd imagine it's like a cozy little nook to come to otherwise. So come around, put a try, pick up a pastry for us because we didn't get any. <laughs> and do the good old things. Give a like, give us a sub, comment down below per usual if you have any recommendations for coffee shops in Atlanta or any packaged coffee for us to try. So that'll be it for this and thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching guys. Catch y'all in the next one. See ya.